All right, President-elect Trump will learn today, and this is huge news too, whether a New York judge will dismiss his felony conviction in that hush money case. Judge Juan Mershon is expected to rule today on a motion by Trump's lawyer to throw out the convictions in the wake of a Supreme Court decision that grants presidents broad immunity from prosecution. Trump was convicted on 34 felony counts last May for buying the silence of adult film actress Stormy Daniels to avoid a political scandal before the 2016 presidential election. Legal affairs correspondent Ava Joy Burnett has more on the decision facing Judge Mershon. The judge who's overseeing the hush money case against former President Donald Trump is expected to issue a decision Tuesday on whether presidential immunity applies in that New York State case. Judge Juan Mershon is going where no judge has gone before. He will assess the U.S. Supreme Court's decision on presidential immunity and determine if it applies in the hush money case. Earlier this year, former President Donald Trump was found guilty on 34 felony counts after he was accused of approving a $130,000 payment to Stormy Daniels, an adult film star, in order to cover up a romantic relationship they had. Former President Donald Trump has repeatedly denied he ever had a relationship with Stormy Daniels. If Judge Juan Mershon determines there is no presidential immunity, the next big date in this case could be on November 26th. That is when sentencing is scheduled in this matter. But we do know attorneys for the former president have already appealed the jury's decision to an appellate court. Under New York state law, the potential penalties for these crimes could be probation or fine. There is also the possibility of up to four years behind bars. But it's important to stress that the former president is very unlikely to spend any time behind bars, even if he's sentenced. Average Way Burnett, Scripps News, Washington. And it really is fascinating what that judge is going to do today. But let's be honest, I'm no lawyer. But the judge even moved the sentencing date. It was supposed to be a few months ago, but moved it out of respect to the election coming up. Didn't want to, you know, taint the poll weeks before, weeks before the election. I would imagine if you had sensitivity to candidate Trump, then you have to have sensitivity to President-elect Trump. So what does that mean? What does he, what does he do today? We were speaking to a lawyer earlier this week who said, who suggested that the judge might push it back until Trump is out of office once again to lay down on sentencing, which is a possibility. Right. Mm -hmm. That seems um, as apolitical a move as you could take, right? We'll just wait till 2028. You, you locked him up. <laughs> you can't. I mean, that's, I, that was never going to happen, even if Trump I mean, had won. It's on the table, though. It's on the table. The yeah. judge was never, right. I, I, you know, but uh, probation, I, I yeah. don't know. Low-level felony, so yeah. probation likely. Still. A kick down the road seems likely. I, we'll see. But, and that's what people expect, too, from that Georgia case, just to be tabled, and yeah. we'll see if, if that comes back to discussion ever. Donald Trump, though, each of these four cases essentially seem like they're all going to dead end <laughs> in some way, that there's not any real consequence and I just wonder how that history will will read that that essentially politics became a protective bubble for a mountain of legal trouble well for sure the federal cases but the New York case the, a jury rendered judgment he was convicted of the 34 felony counts so yes. that was the justice process playing out how it's supposed to the reaction from the public is a right. different story but then maybe but the consequence yeah probation jail delay you know what I mean like there's yes you were convicted you're a felon yes. but without any punishment and it didn't hurt him politically we'll what, see what's the harm and how hey. will the civil judgments <laughs> and the, the the millions of dollars that he owes on multiple civil judgments also be you know will there be pressure put on for that too